Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's exciting today, there's been an arrest in the case of the Idaho Four. Brian Christopher Koberger, age 28, was arrested today. That's December 30th, 2022 in Poconos, awaiting extradition back to Moscow. He's set to be extradited back to Moscow on January 3rd of 2023. He has been arrested for the November 13th attacks on Ethan Chapin, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Carnodal, and Madison Mogan. According to intrepid reporter Brian Enton, Brian Koberger asked if anyone else had been arrested for this crime. Brian Enton also reported that he had a quiet blank stare. Kohlberger is six foot tall and 185 pounds, according to the complaint. This is a fax copy of the police criminal complaint filed today. There was a bail hearing at 9 a.m. I believe that bail was denied. It also lists his home address here, and I'm going to go ahead and redact that. It says here that he was advised of his right to get counsel and that he didn't request a public defender but the application for the public defender was provided so there was an order denying the motion to set the bail there was an order granting the extradition and that's what occurred this morning there's supposed to be a presser coming from the police department at I believe three o'clock so I'll be uploading this while the presser is going on. Once a person of interest is named or a suspect, especially when someone is arrested for a crime, I go ahead and try to sleuth from the beginning. I found that Brian had studied psychology in 2018, I believe in the Pleasant Valley School District, Northampton Community College in Albrightsville where he was allegedly a member of the Psi Beta and got involved in, quote, raising awareness of hidden disabilities, end quote. He was allegedly also employed as a part-time security officer by the Pleasant Valley School District for several years. That would probably be around, I'm guessing, between 2018 and 2021. I believe he got his bachelor's degree in 2020. So he was studying psychology, and this is where I'm going to speculate. This guy is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. But, however, I find it interesting that he's studying psychology and then turning around and study, getting his master's in criminal justice and then going on for his doctorate. It's, it's interesting to me what I'm going to show you next. Allegedly a man seven months ago with his same name, allegedly going to the same school as him, was looking for research participants. He said his name was Brian. He was inviting the folks to participate in a research project on an ex-con Reddit forum. He wanted to understand the emotions and the psychological traits that influence the decision making when committing a crime and in particular his study sought to understand the story behind his the most recent criminal offense that the offender had committed with an emphasis on the thoughts and the feelings throughout the criminal experience creating doing the act when you look through the questions in this um, survey it is quite enlightening I I don't know what this guy was thinking in my personal opinion if he was the one that committed these crimes it's very Bundy-ish in my opinion if that's the case if so Brian graduated from DeSales University in Pennsylvania in 2022 that's this year with his master's degree in criminal justice he like again I said there was this weird survey he was put on they put on Reddit I don't know if he was a common Redditor I believe they have suspended the account it was his handle was criminology student so I don't know if you can go way back on that or find some saved post by that I think it's been wiped I'm not sure so anyway so as part of his research he had put forth this request on reddit I don't know 
in my opinion, if he has committed this crime? Was he perfecting his methods? Was he looking for an accomplice? I don't know. This is very strange to me. Again, I want to repeat, he is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. YouTube is not a court of law. My opinions are just that. And you know what they say about opinions, okay? So this fellow, Brian Kohlberger, was a PhD student at WSU Pullman. So that's Washington State University Pullman. And you want to ask yourself, how, well, how close is that to Moscow? So if you take the distance from Washington State University straight to 1122 King Road, you can see via car, it takes about 14 to 15 minutes. So it's very close to the crime scene. I tried looking around the social media for his name. I found he had a SoundCloud account. I think it's wiped, but this was the cover photo. And then using the complaint, I also looked up his physical address that was given in the complaint. And I just wanted to zoom in and see if there was any white Elantras. Looks like there could be a white car outside that residence. Is this a white Elantra? We don't know, but according to NBC, a white Hyundai Elantra was towed from the residence from where he was arrested. We await the Moscow Police Department's presser today. I will give you updates as I come across them. Hopefully this arrest will, if it's the correct person, will start a process of healing, not only for the families, but for the community. I have to say a lot of my fellow YouTubers have not exactly been ethical, in my opinion, in the way they have targeted certain people. Yeah, sure. Occam's razor always says that usually the victim knew their perpetrator. However, you still have to exercise some kind of restraint before you go pointing fingers. And you just don't want to ruin people's lives by playing internet psychologist um, investigator from the couch, you know, or from the keyboard. So what I do... I usually wait until the police give more information. Then I'll look at the public information and then I'll say, this is my opinion. But again, opinions are not facts. This guy, even though they've even arrested him, he's innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I hope this starts a process of healing and I hope the folks in Moscow can breathe a sigh of relief. But you still always want to stay alert. Keep your guard up lock your doors, and be aware of your surroundings. And without further ado, I'll talk at you later. Bye.